Buddy, come on, buddy. This is why I can't have nice things. thing about San Diego is everything here is so environmentally safe. I don't know if you guys are familiar with James Coffee. It's incredible, but they don't do plastic anywhere. It's just glass, just glassware. And you supposedly fill it up, you drink it, and then you return your glass and they give you another one. What a time to be alive, am I right? Welcome back to the channel, guys. This week was awesome. I get to shoot my favorite stock of film, which is Portra 400. This week I decided to meet up with a good friend, Caleb. Caleb and I have shot before, I'm sure you guys remember him. He's an incredible model, he's also a San Diego local, but he has a really unique style. He does like a lot of like 50s and like greaser type looks. So uh, we found this old school like school <laughs> with like his greaser look, it kind of kind of felt like a Marty McFly type situation. Follow, and unless you repair the damage, you'll be next. This sounds pretty heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? What? Um, and I had one roll of Portra 400 and I just kind of want to see what we could put together in that quick time. I used my Pentax 67 obviously some Portra 400. This is all shot at box speed. I didn't push or pull anything. And the only other thing that I used other than my Pentax 67 and Portra was a black Promis filter. Um, I've been using it a lot lately and I would highly recommend using it, especially midday shooting, which is what we did when we shot this video. It was 12 o'clock in the afternoon. so. I think it's good for those harsh highlights and I think it does a good job of kind of leveling it out and softens the photo. So, without further ado, enjoy. Portra 400, in, out, done. Okay.
coffee in glasses. It's weird. Because I get it on my nose. I don't know if that's disrespectful or not. Oh, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed those photos. I know I really enjoyed them. It was kind of like while I was editing and developing and scanning those photos, I just like the natural tones of how well a lot of those staircases matched with the outfit, like just naturally because it was like a kind of an old vintage-y stair set that we found. Um, and I also just loved how well those highlights kind of like softened with the direct sunlight. Before, I would say like a month ago, I would never ever recommend shooting midday, ever. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've said it on this channel. Um, and I would just specifically shoot either blue hour, which is immediately after sunrise or during sunrise, and then golden hour, which is sunset. But using a Promis filter along with a light film, I think produces some pretty good images. And I'm pretty happy we were able to pull together some pretty cool images with only 10 shots. So, e even if you're a digital photographer or a film photographer, I would always recommend shooting with a black Promis filter, especially in direct sunlight. I would say some of its cons would be it softens your image incredibly. So yeah, this video is all done. Portrait 400 with my Pentax 67. Let me show you how great my Pentax looks, by the way. Oh, look at this. This is custom Zambrano wood, bro. <clears throat> but yeah, so this week's shoot was awesome. So again, thank you, Caleb, for um, gracing us with your professional services, you handsome devil, you. Thank you, Christina, for helping me film that um, and driving. I hope you guys liked that video. If you guys are so inclined, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and on TikTok because I'm active on all three, or at least I try to. And um, I guess that's it. So let's go make some magic.